Okay guys, got to be quick here, battery's flashing, late in the day, just thought I you don't get the putting green free very often, just want to do a bit of channel lock putting. Okay, channel lock is, putting is the same as channel lock. Now the good thing about channel lock putting is, we really do get to putt in the channel. And by having a very, very specific channel and having a thought, um, commitment to keeping the shoulders closed you know you really do have this strong lead shoulder and guys I very much feel like I get a little bit of an into out stroke on the putty now the good thing is we're pushing it to the hole all the time we're never going to get anything going left it's exactly the same as now I don't know how what that hole breaks like I don't know it's probably about 45 feet um, no idea how it breaks but we'll just we'll put a cider in there but see we look at the hole like this look then we get the shoulders just really locked in. See, they're locked in now, they're shut down. Now it's exactly the same feel. You will always push the ball back to the hole, that's the thing I like about it. You won't get drags, you won't get the same as in, in the normal golf swing. You just won't get a dragged putt. Why, why don't you get a drag putt? Because the shoulders won't let you drag. Drag putts come about most of the time, guys, is because when people set up to putt, this is over here. They can do what they like with their hands, but I promise you, if your shoulder girdle is pointing that way, it's going to direct the arms and that's going to direct the hands, going to direct the club face. So, what I want to do is I want to make sure I know the ball's going in a certain direction all the time. And I don't want to have a two-way miss. If I'm going to have a miss, I just want one. It'll either be hole or a bit right of the hole. Exactly the same as channel lock. And how do I do that? Well, I set up here. I'm just looking at the hole. Then, then my feet are there. Then I just turn my shoulders 90 degrees to my feet. Here. Now, this lead shoulder's locked, guys. It's locked and blocked. There it is. Trail shoulders back here. And the good thing is, by playing it back, I'll just show you here from a ball position. Once I look at the hole here, and then I, then I back cock my shoulders. By having the ball, I'm playing the ball here about the middle of the arch of my foot. Why do I want to do that? Because that's where my dominant eye is. My trail eye is right there. My dominant eye, which for me is my right eye, is there. So I want the ball under my dominant eye. That's where I want it. I don't want the ball up here, away from my dominant eye, because that's going to get my eye girdle sort of getting wonky and wanting to look over there. But if I get my... my if I get my... Um, my trail eye straight over that ball there, immediately it's locked down my head. It's locked this side of my head down here and, it, and it's there. If I played the ball up there under my left eye, immediately I feel my shoulder girdle wanting to do that and I feel my eye line wanting to do that. So this is all channel lock. It's exactly the same. But in putting it's channel block because we're blocking the the shoulders to make sure that the arms just swing underneath them and they're not getting routed um, offline. So here we go, if we're going to putt to that hole there, for me, my right eye's there. Then guys, my body, my hips are facing there. I just turn my whole, you know, upper body, the, the, the trunk here, 90 degrees. And, and that ball is under my, is under my, my trail eye. Now you know the good thing about it? You, you're just taking your golf swing into your putting. That doesn't happen. Any, in any golf swing that doesn't happen. But here, it's exactly the same principle, the same protocol. We're putting beside our body in a channel. I'm looking at the hole there. And this is how I basically set the putter up. I get binocular vision on the hole here. My line's good. 
I'll sh shuffle across to get my foot in position and the good thing is the club's in line here and I just I just feel that the where's my right eye okay it's there then I just turn turn my body to there shoulders blocked and there we go see this lead shoulder still blocked we've contained the putter the putter is contained we talk about containing a golf club we're containing the putter here we're containing the putter guys I never thought of that but that's what we're doing so we're looking at binocular vision which is the way you eliminate parallax error so we get here I'm feeling the putt here now all I'm doing is turning 90 degrees and I've got the putter contained because my, my shoulders there the putter's in between my hands and the putter wants to go towards the hole guys that's the good thing about it so the camera's my hole I set it here get there then I just turn this 90 degrees now look where my shoulders are now I've got the putter contained look at the putter look how square it is guys look look where the putter is I've contained the putter no one talks about containing a putter do they do they no one talks about containing a putter here we are and this is the way guys look no nothing's contorted here we go here here we go face is dead square here shoulder block contain the putter look at that putter now guys I do something a little tricky because I want a putt like that and I want to have the putter there so you know what I do have a look at my grip this is something I do okay normally on a putter this that is at the front of the putter what I do is I turn it around um, so the flat is, is in line with the face of the of the putter and this curved part is at the back of the putter so I can put my hand on like that here my hand is there see see my hand I've got I can put that round part of the grip in there and I just throw it like that I turn the putter around so that the flat of it is in line with the face of the putter and then and then that round part at the back just fits in that that hollow in the hand I know I'm a tricky little devil but to me guys the reason I do all this stuff all I want to do is take advantage of normal um, biomechanical motions and feels and the way we're designed we've got that got that hollow there let's put something in the hollow this is the way that an arm should move there and that's all I'm doing that I put the putter that round part of the grip in there okay here we go looking at the hole binocular vision feeling the position turning 90 degrees shoulders shut here look how square the putter is look okay guys the battery is flashing that's channel lock putting in a nutshell I'll do something a little bit more in depth and something that's got a little bit more um, detail in it later on